My name is Lewis Hilsentegger and I produce videos for the web. What's up guys, Lou here back with another video and today I've got something special, the Samsung Galaxy S6, the Apple Watch. Not Most, Apple. if not all of you, will know me from the YouTube channel Unbox Therapy. I actually had a small shop where we focused solely on uh, upgrades for Apple computers. And that's actually how I started making videos because I realized a lot of the conversations that I had was having with people that were coming into the shop, there were these questions that I thought could be answered really well through video. So I started to experiment with video during that project and everything is shot live. There is zero preparation in order to protect. Ah, oh my goodness. That reaction that I think has become an important component in the excitement behind these videos. Not, not too shabby actually. When I got into it, I imagined it being a professional thing. I branded the channel as such. For me, I did see a business side to it and I saw an opportunity to do it for a living. It was just featuring things that I was already buying, that I was already into. I was going out of pocket on everything. I suppose the first step was trying to enhance the production value. And through that process, I also found that it's not just the production that requires attention, but also the personality. A little old school unboxing, and uh, that's what the backwards hat is for. I think people watch unboxing videos for a couple different reasons. Some are about to buy something and they're researching a product. Others click that subscribe button and they want to be introduced on a continual basis to new stuff. iPhone 6 Plus bend test. As far as a breakout video, not until recently with the bend gate thing did I really fully grasp the reach and impact not only of myself and, and my audience, but the platform. That for me was a point at which I, I recognized the scale of the thing. I want to put all this conspiracy to rest with the bend gate controversy. Oh. We're pretty lean. Two people, yeah. And for a long time, just one. I'm, I'm reluctant to expand to this large group of individuals for fear that you, you, you might take your finger off the pulse. As long as audience continues to grow, I think right now it's still growing around 2,000 subscribers a day or something like that. That's the thing that gives me the confidence to stay, to remain in the business. 